I've got a piece of music I want to stick underneath this interview. This track doesn't actually need any music, but what the hell, I'm just going to throw a bit on there. I don't want to put the music on audio one or audio two, because it'll wipe up what's over there. I want to put it on another audio track. Now, I could right-click and add one in, but in fact, the easiest way is just grab hold of it, drag it, drop it in the empty space underneath it, and Premiere adds in an audio track of the exactly the right type. Open it up, and you can see the music, and start it playing. David, I wanted to ask you about ABC HD. How easy is it to edit? And okay, doesn't really make any sense having that piece of music there, but I'm going to use it. So it trolls along quite nicely. Um, to edit ABC HD on. And towards the end there, well, it's getting a bit loud. Maybe at the end I want it to ramp up. You're welcome. But at this point here, it's a little bit too loud. Okay at the start, but a bit too loud at the end. This is a prime case for using points on the timeline. So I'm going to do exactly what I did before. Hold down on control and click on the yellow line. Move along at it, hold down on control again, and click again. And now I put two points in. Now towards the end, I'm going to want it to ramp up. So effectively I want to take this, ramp it down a bit, and then ramp it back up again. So I'm going to stick another couple of points on the end. One there, and one there. Now it's still the same volume all the way through, but what I want to do now is take the middle bit here and make it quieter. So I'm going to grab hold of it, and just move it down a bit. Now having put the four points on there, one, two, three, four, I'm now not holding down on any buttons, I'm just literally grabbing hold of the yellow line, and it moves the two in the middle together. Now play it. Programs just really take the stuff. And uh, what is the best program to edit ABC HD on? And you can hear the results. In my case, I made it so quiet you can't hear it. So I'm gonna grab it and move it up. Now, I've got a very narrow, very small waveform there, or display of the sound. So when I'm grabbing hold of the yellow bar and moving, it's moving in huge amounts. So a very good idea here would be to make the track bigger. Just go to the join, grab hold of it with the left mouse button, and make it bigger. That way, as you move it, you move it in much smaller amounts. Now, there are other ways of moving it in smaller amounts. For example, go hold of it and grab it, and start dragging. Now after you've grabbed it, now hold down on the control key and you'll find that you're moving it in much much smaller increments. Whatever you do, don't hold down on control key first because that'll add a point on. Grab hold of it and then hold down on control. If you hold down on shift it jumps in much larger amounts. Now this is pretty standard throughout Premiere. If you're moving something around or changing some numbers, maybe if you come up into the effects control window up here and you're changing some of these numbers here, as you're dragging around on there, it goes at one speed, hold on control, it goes at smaller increments, hold down on shift, it's bigger increments. Anyway, I've got that roughly right, let's play it. These days, all the programs just really take the stuff. And uh, what is the best program to edit ABC HD on? I mean, if you and then when we get to the end, Thank you very much, David. You're welcome. And uh, maybe I want the end to be a bit louder. Let's just grab hold of that last point and move it up a bit more. Thank you very much, David. You're welcome. Yeah, and it ramps up. Pretty simple, really. Now you can put as many points on here as you like. I'm not even letting go of control in between putting the points on. I'm just holding down on control, and every time I click, I get a new point. Now I let go of control, I can move them all over the shop. And now... David, I wanted to ask you about ABC HD. How easy is it? Sounds fading to... in. Well, it's pretty fading easy to the stuff these days. Fading as down. As you've got an up-to-date computer and the fading right editing up. program, you just put it fading into the down. and edit it. And so on. And you can do this with as many audio tracks as you like. Premiere's got a limit of 99 audio tracks, which is... Yeah, frankly, pretty much enough. If you're going to do more than 99 audio tracks, you really ought to consider using Audition, Adobe's sound editing program, which has a lovely multi-track editor in it. Pretty much 99 is going to do most of what you want. And you can mix the whole lot together through the use of these points.